Hi, this is Bob Cargill. It is Sunday, November 27, 2016. I'm in a big, beautiful field here off of Route 27 in Wayland, Massachusetts. It's a little chilly, but I'm going to take just a few minutes to talk to you about going the extra mile. Let me tell you a quick little story. Back in high school, many years ago, I remember running track in cross country and I played other sports during my childhood, but track in particular, winter track at Franklin High School in the field house, it was 11 laps for a mile and 22 laps for two miles. And we had this really big race and I was pretty good. I was a decent runner, but I wasn't the best. Tony Rockaforty was the best at this long distance and it was a two mile race. I think it was two miles, either one or two, but I'm pretty sure it was two miles, which would be 22 laps. And it was against another really good team and the coach, Coach Korea, who I will always remember and thank for pushing me, pushing me to go that extra mile, pushing me hard, pushing me to, to run faster, further, etc. Anyways, he wanted me, Tony was better than me, but I was pretty good. He wanted us, the strategy was to take turns in the lead every other lap. So Tony usually always would beat me, but it was my job every other lap in the two mile to pass him and take the lead, alternating every other lap, okay? And I remember it was like a flock of geese or a gaggle of geese or a skein, I think you call it, of geese, where they take turns in the lead, they help each other. That's what geese do. And that was the strategy. And, I, and you know, in retrospect, it was brilliant. Coach Korea, it was brilliant. And it was intimidating and daunting for me because I needed to stay ahead of Tony, a better runner, is for, for as long as I could, every other lap. And I remember I did it till up to, let's say 15, 16 laps, about two, two thirds of the way through the race. He eventually won. So I did not win, but I did my job. Okay. And what I'm thinking about now is how people can work as teams like that, help each other, whether it's a family, whether it's on the job, whether it is an actual athletic team, how you can help each other, push each other, take turns in the lead, okay? That's one thing I learned. The other thing I learned, which is really what I want to focus on right now, is that you can go further, faster, be better, stronger than you can imagine. You only know if you try. So don't settle for less. Push yourself. Go the extra mile. Today I'm running marathons. Today I'm running faster, further than I ever thought, than I ever imagined when I was young, that I'd be this age, this time in my life, still running just like I did in high school. And that's how I feel when I run races. So. I'm saying that my coach back then taught me a lesson. He taught me teamwork, me and Tony back and forth. Tony won, but I still felt great because I did my job. We succeeded as a team. I pushed myself faster, further, harder than I could have imagined and did really well. And today, that lesson still sticks. Today, if I have a big presentation, if I have a tough day on the job ahead of me, if I have a family crisis, if I have hurdles to overcome, I think back to running track. I think back to Coach Career. I think of how hard he pushed us, how hard he pushed me, and how effective it was then, and how beneficial it is to me now. Thank you, Coach Career. Thank you, folks, for listening to my little talk. Think how you can go the extra mile. Think how you can help others go the extra mile. Think, imagine, realize that you can go further, faster, be better, stronger than you ever imagined. You'll only know if you try. This is Bob Cargill, Sunday, November 27, 2016. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.